I really don't care what anybody thinks. I'm going to the funeral. Well, you do what you like, but I should remind you that this whole mess is now finished. No, it isn't. Not until I see them bury him under six feet of earth. Well, maybe, maybe Robert has a point. It really won't change anything. No, I don't expect it to change anything. I'm just going. I want to go. Look, New York is full of a lot of very unpleasant memories. It's also got some good memories. Chico and I had a lovely time there. And I just... I just need to feel close to him right now. What are you doing here? Good to see you, Duke. Answer my question. It's just a routine check, that's all. Come give me that. If something's wrong, what is it? You better tell me, man, or else I'm warning you. I'll find out for myself. Around, Duke. But the witness protection program operates on a continuous evaluation of circumstances. Well, put that in English, please, would you? We have to be flexible, that's all. Now, who has to be flexible? I have to be flexible. I've got to believe everything you say and do everything that you want. Duke, you make it sound as if you're in prison. And what else would you call this? Well, I know it's rough, but at least you're safe. It's the same every single day. Cons and evasions. I'd rather take my chances with Victor Girona than to live like this. It's getting worse. He's starting to climb the wall. Do you think he knows someone's been trailing us? No, that's their last move. It's been quiet. Well, maybe that's because Victor Jerome is dead. Dead? I thought he was in prison. Well, he set up a break, but apparently he slipped on his shoestrings. They fished his body out of the lake near Port Charles. You better hope our boy doesn't find out about this. Yeah. If he knew that Victor was out of the way and no longer a threat to his family, you can bet the Duke would be out of here in a split second. Look, I'm just trying to save a little bit of grief is all. I know, I know you are. I appreciate it. Hey, listen, just feel free to jump in here, you know? Go. Why, why don't I just wait outside? Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Listen, I, I tell her what you think. Come on. I think she should damn well go if she wants to go. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. This is a very personal thing for me, going to this funeral. Look. Just going to remind you of a lot of people and places that took your husband away from you. I'm aware of that. Jerome cannot hurt anybody. I anymore. know, but I just, I, I just can't believe it yet. I need to see it for myself. That's all. All right. I'll just have a smile, or at least I don't know, call you little something. <laughs> Listen, just don't yes. get you. Okay? No, I won't. I right. promise you. I'd rather forget work. All right. Uh, Sean's coming with me anyway. Let's get out of here. Bye-bye. Thanks. Please hurry back. I don't stay there. It's been a long time. Okay. Bye-bye. I'd like to take this moment to thank you for your support. Mm. Friends before. Anytime. Wait. Yeah, honey, of course I'm happy that you're going to go along. Look, I didn't want to make this trip in. I really don't know if she's going to be there. Honey, the only thing I know for sure is that Julian arranged a funeral. Yeah, we'll see you in 30 minutes. We'll be here. That's right. Uh, Tiffany's going to tag along with us. She doesn't have to. It's not really going to be a fun-filled trip or anything. Yeah. Actually, we have our own reasons for going. Uh, she hopes that Cheryl will be there. I didn't think of that. Yeah, um, yeah. Even if she isn't, she'll get a chance to talk to Julian, maybe find out where Cheryl really is. Oh, good. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Commissioner Scorpio said this was a going away present for you. What is it? I uh, really don't know. Oh, yeah, of course not. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Watch the door. Hmm. What is it? It's a report on your lovely in New York. <laughs> Some going away present. It happened the day before Victor Jerome escaped. Do you think there's a connection? Well, I don't know. I'm just made a foot tall from there. What was stolen? Diamonds. Blue. 
gives me another reason for going to New York, at least. I mean, if Victor Jerome was behind this, then that could be a reason for his death. I mean, somebody could have killed him for the diamonds. Maybe. And whoever murdered him could be right there at the funeral. I mean, I could be killing two birds with one stone. I'm going to get in touch with some old friends. Uh, okay. yeah. you're going to need this. So you're not sensing goods anymore then, Benny? Nope, I've been as straight as an arrow. Oh, I'm very glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah but it's a leaning times now. But uh, at least I don't jump every time there's a knock at the door. Okay, I need some information. Hey, you're the only police chief that I would call friend. Come on, shoot. It's uh, a jewel robbery a couple of days ago in New York City. Uh, one of those big retailers on Park Avenue. Yeah? Raw diamonds, about two pounds. No kidding. I haven't heard anything. Oh, I was hoping that you had. Oh, <laughs> what a are you nightmare. Sure? You can't believe what I had to get a little. I'm scared to get here. Well, sweetheart, I'm glad well, you're uh, here, that's all. Well, this is my best shot. Well, I'm trying to find out what I'm going to Ah, you know, uh, Julia may not be that talkative. Well, we might find out something. You know, I never believed for a second she really wanted to try to patch things up with him, but just maybe, maybe she'll be there, you know? For your sake, honey, I hope she is. Right? Well, yes, I mean, I know, I know this time is a very difficult defense. Yeah, especially when somebody tries to dump it all at once. Yeah. So you're absolutely certain nobody has called you about buying diamonds? Not a peep. You wouldn't be putting me on now, would you, Benny? I swear, honey, I don't know nothing. Okay. Um, would you call me if you hear anything, please? Sure, honey. You can count on me. You could always bank on Benny. Yeah, I know. Bye-bye. Uh, anything? No, nothing at all. Hi, sister. Hi, are we ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Anna, you uh, sure you still want to do this? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, our elevator works. Yeah. Thank you, honestly. Anna, please. This room is dreadful. Oh, no, 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 honey. It's really not, uh, it's really not that bad. Oh, yes, it is. Sean, look, it's worse. Look at this place. Oh, didn't you tell me, uh, once that, uh, you slept in a tent when you were out on location? Hmm? <laughs> well, the tent wasn't in New York City. I mean, golly. I don't mind this room much, see? I'm not dirty and everything, but, uh... Do can I stay here? Oh, Anna, I... No, I... No. Fine. Really. I want to be here, okay? I know that. Are you sure you're Yes. Well, we have a great view of the park if you change your mind. No, yeah. I, I won't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Put the safety on again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Bye. Bye. It's fine. 